video review for Crazy Devi Most Wanted Parts 15, the Predaking Add-on Feet. As most of you already seen my uh, pictorial on TFW 2005, I thought maybe a video review would help. Now, granted, I'm not. I'm just. This is my first video review, so bear with me. It'll get better eventually. So as you saw the first packaging, you know, a little piece of plastic. There you go. Card backing has a silhouette outline of the Crazy Devi add-ons to Devastator itself. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Pretty King. And the back, obviously, the instructions. Silhouetted again with orange linings. Warning hazards. Uh, this, is, this is my favorite part right here at the bottom. Uh, let me see if I can get the focus. No, I'm going to go to focus. But it says, uh, <laughs> the excessive force is not necessary. As some people on TFW have mentioned, theirs weren't. Unfortunately for me, mine was. So let's get to the parts. They're just little, as you can see, little pieces of plastic. See? Little plates, I guess you can call them. I guess that's what they really are. That's for uh, Tantrum. This is the one that's got me. This is the one for Headstrong. Uh, see, it, it fills in the gap for Headstrong. For the Headstrong's uh, foot part. Now in there, right, right, let me use my probably screwdriver be best. Because my big fat fingers are in the way. Right in there is where the one side of my headstrong little nubs within his feet that connect there were scraped off and in the inner as well mine don't seem to match up mine's these one this side seems to be on the track but still not deep enough where it won't scrape the nubs and this one seems to be just a little little bit off cause right beside is where, my, where the nubs on uh, Headstrong slide in. So, unfortunately for me, that scraped off the, the nubs on my headstrong. So, I know some people on TLW are saying that, oh, it never happened to me. Well, it didn't happen to you, but I was the unlucky guy. And we're gonna, I'm gonna cut the scene here really quick, and just gonna transform all the Pretty King parts and get this thing going and okay we're back as you can see here Freddy King is all nicely transformed without the add-on parts at the moment the only add-on parts from Crazy David I actually own in hand are the foot plates I have the, uh, the sword and as much as I don't, as much as some people don't like it, the wings. As I actually like the large wing aesthetic feel to it. So, eh, my personal choice, right? So, as you can see, feet are still the same, and legs are his uh, tantrum and headstrongs headstrong aren't uh, lifted yet. So let's get to that. So I'm gonna unplug each leg bit here come on That's, this is being difficult there we go okay let's focus on these guys now now as the instructions show they tell you you know right here everything and how, sh how it's done so let's start with Headstrong and since I have a camera here I don't know how well you guys can see that in there I guess not well enough it's all shaven, shaved down here and this way you can see a little better with the lighting I wonder if I can play with the light over here and just 
doesn't help. But yeah, the little nubs in here are shaved down. Yeah, a little disappointed, but what you gotta do, right? Just plug, and there we go, it's in. Tantrum. Just plug. And there we go. And then they tell you to extend the leg out a little bit. And see, it doesn't go in. I'm not putting any force. Nothing at all. It's saying excessive force. I'm, I'm putting maybe like next to nothing in here. And now I have to get in there. Now it's in there. With, with excessive force. And then headstrong. Gotta pull it out up to knees. Come on. Like, yeah, all the way up there. There we go. Alright, hold on. And see, my headstrong kind of goes on a. Oh, there that goes. My headstrong kind of doesn't stand up straight without the excessive force, and it's not on track either. This one's on the track. This one's off the track. You probably can't see it that well in there. Again, apologies for the sh the really bad lighting. I I will be going out tomorrow and getting me some nice lights. <laughs> That's that. It's supposed to lock halfway in. There we go. Okay. There we go. So now to plug in the upper half of Predaking. And as you can see, already. Oh, that wasn't good. As you can see already, his legs flopped. <laughs> there. As you can see already, he got, well not yet, he's got a lot of height. He's got quite a bit of height to him now. I mean, let's see if I can do this. Figure out what to use for comparison shot. But, Something did come to mind when watching a PR video. So, what's the best thing to size comparison it to? A can of pop. And as you can see, it is some serious height to this thing. It only goes with the extension piece on, it goes just a little bit above. Headstrong's arm. As you can see me zooming in. A little bit above Headstrong's arm. Yeah, so this thing is monstrous. Now, as even though it did cause some damage to my Headstrong, I'm still glad I have these things. It gives Petty King more height because he is the lar largest or one of the largest combiners, G1 combiners to date. Well, to that date. <laughs> and uh, one of my one of my favorites next to the actual next to the Terracons. Would I would I say this would would you do? go out and buy it right now? Shh, no. The, as I understand, it is a custom piece. It it comes in limited qu quantities, but at Crazy Devi, it was 36 bucks with shipping. Anywhere else, it's 33 or 34 plus shipping. And then you may run into what happened with me. Yours could be a little bit, a little bit off. 
and could mess up your headstrong or maybe these little gray pieces in here are too small or oh, sorry too they aren't shaved down to the right height to fit within headstrong's feet and it causes stress marks I wouldn't I wouldn't tell people to go buy this but if you have the spare cash or you have like an extra Predaking and or if you're just gonna use it for a display piece and don't really care if it causes a little bit of damage that isn't seen then go ahead and buy it me I will get I mean I'm getting the wings for Predaking the sword and probably the hands the new hands are gonna have and thighs as we can see from the little silhouette here. And the cannons. The head, I don't think is necessary. Because, all things considering, Predaking had, this G1 Predaking toy had pretty accurate head to its show model. And, this is the end of my first review. Uh, I would appreciate some feedback on what I could do to make it better. Obviously, lighting would be better. And probably a better space to review on but uh, some tips would be greatly appreciated thank you and have a good night